flatter stomach, balanced hips, longer legs. We all want what we don't have, but our next guest says, don't spend time stressing over your problem areas. You can easily manipulate your wardrobe to accentuate your assets or lack thereof. Image consultant Natalie Weekly dropped by recently to show us how. Take a look. Natalie, a lot of women are hard on themselves and we're hard on other women for not having the perfect body. Truth of the matter is, uh, there aren't very many perfect bodies out there. There aren't. Every single person, regardless of their size, has something that's frustrating to get dressed in the morning. And so they can be encouraged because they know that there's something for everyone as well. Yeah, I've actually met a number of our supermodels and I have seen a couple of them where I was like, oh, look at that, a little dimple. You can't, <laughs> you can't airbrush real life, can you, right? No. But, uh, exactly. Yeah, and, and to, so to compare ourselves, uh, we're wasting time. Instead, Absolutely. deal with the body you have. Unless you're going to change it surgically or whatever, deal with the body you have. Absolutely. And clothes can be your friend there. They can. Focus on the good. Everyone also has something good about their body. And so you focus on that. You learn to camouflage. You learn to counterbalance the other parts. And you can look good in the morning and then not think about it. All you right. You look good. That's what you did for uh, our models today. Let's take a look at our first one is Suzanne. Yes. Now, the area that Suzanne had issues with were what, thighs? Yes. We were talking about her thighs here because everyone wants to wear white pants in the summer mm -hmm. and you still can do that. You just need to have a fabric that's a little bit heavier. So here she is now. Look at that. Woo! Absolutely. The other thing I noticed that you did, oh wait, come on back here, sister. Yeah, see, like, we, She's like we don't friend. have the professional models. It's funny because they're like, it's okay, people. stop looking at me, I'm getting off you now. But no, the other thing I noticed that you did was you lengthened the pant, because the other pant she had was more of like a little like, yes, ankle. Yes, it was a little bit of an uh -huh. ankle, or even the capri is very popular. Elongate that. You can still have, in this case, we've gone with a straight leg versus a slim leg. Mm -hmm. You still have that lengthening effect. You still have that trend look, but we've not stuck so close to her body that then all of a sudden you're like, okay, thigh, oh no, very small calf. Yeah. So we've kept it strong. Another thing that we've done is we've brought all of the, the attention up. We have this beautiful print, which by the way, works wonderful in Houston, because if you're sweating, this could be soaking wet and you, <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> I love so that. So that's my favorite thing. I'm a heat bomb, so I love that. Um, this print is wonderful, it brings your attention up. You focus, she has a wonderful smile. So we're bringing that up. She's got, um, we were talking about arms. Did you want to have arms covered or not? You have choices. Just because this is a three quarter length does not mean that it's exceptionally hot. We've kept it looser. Yeah. But you could go any any length with this. You could do a sleeve, a cap sleeve. And the other and thing I noticed is that before she had that solid top on that really cut her in half. Absolutely. This one just blends right in with the pants because it picks up on the white in the top as well. It does. All right. Now you can go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have Allison. And Allison, um, let's take a picture of her before in this outfit. And Allison is saying that she's having uh, issues with her hips. I think she looks great. But. She does. And that's one of those classic examples of it doesn't matter what size you are. There's something that makes it hard for you to mm -hmm. find something. In this case, she had a really hard time finding shorts. So we found her a pair of shorts that look great. And, <laughs> and we... We did two things with her look. So first of all, with these shorts, we found a little bit of an A-line short, so it's not just stuck to her legs. So we've got a little bit of a flare. tiny uh -huh. little flare at the bottom that helps balance out the hip. We also made the shirt not quite so tight. So we're counterbalancing what I was saying. If when you make that shirt really, really tight, then your hips or whatever it is right. are going to look a little bit bigger. You've created a proportion. Absolutely. And what she did want to focus on, her legs are great. So again, we've got shorts. You don't even notice hips. This is not even, uh, hips are a non-issue in the South. Well, in some neighborhoods, see, hips are just good. They are good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is so true. But this elongating, she looks beautiful, and we've completely balanced yeah, that out. Yeah, and I love that top. Now, a lot of people would think, okay, if I do a top that's that's, that's that relaxed, it'll make me look bigger. Mm -mm. But it really doesn't. It almost makes you look leaner. Not that she's got any issues there, but it makes you look leaner because you don't see it. So for both women with a little bit of meat on the bones and women who are thinner, this top really works. Absolutely. It falls in and drapes nicely, mm -hmm. so you've got that great shape. I'm going to get 10 of those. All I right. know that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Next, the problem is the bust. We either don't have enough or we have too much. And so uh, for Loretta, she feels like her bust is kind of like, just doesn't fit in proportion with other things, which makes fit on any clothes uh, hard. So what we decided to do is you just said accentuate the positive in we this dress totally right here. Did. Look at her now. <laughs> I love this dress. 
So we did exactly what I said. We def we actually defined her bust, but we did it with a pattern that is flattering. Mm -hmm. And so we instead of doing geometric, we've used some swirls, which goes with the rounded look. We because we've accentuated her bust, then she's got this trim waist. We see the trim waist. We yeah, also the empire waist comes up a little it's bit. It's wonderful. Yeah. And we totally played off of her height. She's got a lot of height to work with, which is wonderful. And so we just elongated the heck out of her with this long maxi. When you're buying a print like this, don't forget to pay attention to where the print falls. You could have some awkward placement of the print. Yes, try so, it on. <laughs> try yes. it on. And if it's awkward, don't forget to try the same dress in another size because often the print is different on a uh, different dress. Okay, and I love that pop of yellow right there. So it almost Absolutely. gives you some color blocking there and so you have some zones. Absolutely. And we've, this is just a scarf that we've thrown on. It's great if you aren't quite sure how you want to show your arms. Uh -huh. This is a great way to hide it without being hot. And again, with the pattern, you could be soaking wet in this and you wouldn't know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next uh, problem area is the tummy, especially post baby. Oh, man. And you keep thinking, this okay. Is close to my heart. Yeah, 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 because you just had a baby recently. Yes. Trust me, 11 years later, it's still there. Uh, okay, so, um, so a lot of women deal with that, just kind of that poofy area of the tummy. Whether you just had a baby or it just is a place where a lot of women carry a little extra mm. padding. So this is the one I would avoid, but then the one that is the best for post-pregnancy. I love it for anybody. For anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I adore this dress. I told her that I might come steal it from her, but I love this dress. And we've done a fit and flare here. So we're fitting on the part that doesn't change quite as much mm -hmm. and it flares out. The best part about this as well is as she loses weight or as that tummy goes away, you you can still keep wearing this dress. You yeah. don't have to go buy a brand new dress because it's going to work with And I've her. seen this cut on people who are size double zero, people Absolutely. who are size 20. And it just, again, it's, because it keeps it in proportion, uh, hugs on the smaller parts and then goes out on the bigger parts that you can kind of hide underneath there. It's wonderful. And we've got this gorgeous print. So you're just seeing beautiful dress, beautiful woman, and you've just got the complete package here. So we're not focusing at all on yeah. the tummy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, you know, we had our <laughs> tall model earlier. We did. With how to dress a petite person because the tough part about being petite is sometimes the clothes wear you. Yes. You don't wear them. So we dressed this particularly petite model, um, baby Kate. Come on out here. <laughs> And who does this little girl belong to? This is my little girl. <laughs> she's getting an early she's start gonna, on the runway. She's gonna rock the runway. So she's in the 10th percentile. She is so short <laughs> on height. So what we've done with her is we put her in a jumpsuit, like mom, like daughter, right? We put her in a jumpsuit and the pattern is proportionate to her. So we had some larger prints, like that big bird print that we just saw. That would look totally overwhelming on her. Yeah. Thank you. Can I steal those from you? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, so we've kept her long by having the same pattern all the way down. <laughs> we've got our pops of color, and we have a pattern size that's appropriate. We also have and for most kids, a zipper. for most kids, you can dress them in anything. There's that certain window where you can dress them, and they don't really care. They don't. This it's one right wonderful. here cares because she's Natalie's daughter. All right, Natalie, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.